Tesla versus Neo. This is it. I'm kidding. I actually don't see them as competition, but I wanted to have fun with the title and thumbnail. And by the way, they're actually, this is really compelling. Check this out. This is China EV January through April sales. And this is in the tier. This is based on the tier cities in China, which is by size, right? The biggest ones are the tier ones and then on down, but check this out. The first tier cities, you've got the Tesla Model Y 31%, Tesla Model 3 32%, Neo ET5, 37%. Wait a minute. I thought the ET5 wasn't selling very well. Hold on a minute. How about let's let's go back up here to the Tesla Model Y in the second tier cities, 35%. Tesla Model 3 in the second tier cities, 36%. Neo ET5, 32%. Hold on. Somebody tell these guys they're not supposed to be selling so many vehicles. This is a startup company. What are they doing? Tesla Model Y, I'm just having fun with this video. If you haven't figured it out by now, Tesla Model Y, 26% for the third tier city. Uh, Tesla Model 3, 26% for the third tier city. 27% for the Neo ET5. Hold on, people. Let's just, there's something, something must be skewed or wrong about this data. We're almost to the point that I really want to point something out here. This, this is good stuff, actually. Uh, Tesla Model Y in the fourth tier and fifth tier cities, 6 and 1%. The Model 3, 5 and 1%. Neo uh, with the ET5, 3 and 1%. Hang on though, because Neo has this focus for the infrastructure, battery swap, power swap stations in what I call the rural model, the smaller cities. They're focusing on this. Look at that. And they definitely have some upside to take as far as the market goes because. Tesla isn't very far in there, right? I'm just saying, I just want to point that out. Not a comparison, not a, not it's look, it's not a competition. I don't see the two companies as really being competitors, uh, but I, I, I haven't really. And the fun part about this is when I first heard about Neo, the reason I heard about Neo is it was being touted as the Chinese Tesla. And that's when I first started looking, I was like, oh, that sounds compelling. And so I started digging into it. And the more I've dug into it, the more I'm like, they are, they are different companies, very different companies, different brands. They're doing very different things. Uh, but I want to have fun with this video uh, as a one-off and also share this data because I thought that was really, that was an interesting chart. I will link it in the description so you can check it out for yourselves because I know I'm not the only research nerd out here in the world, in the free world, as I like to call it. Let me wrap this thing up. Quick hitter just to start the day. Have a great day. Have a great week. We'll see y'all again real soon.